Hi and welcome to Aiken Adventures. Today we want to tell you about our top five favorite things to do in Daytona Beach, Florida. If you're just now joining us on Aiken Adventures, we're taking you to do all the best things and all the best places all around Florida. If you like that kind of content, then you're gonna wanna like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification icon as you follow us for all of our adventures around Florida. And coming in at number five on our things to do in Daytona Beach, Florida is the Daytona International Speedway. Now we've put the International Speedway at number five on our list because we believe that most people who are visiting Daytona are familiar with the Speedway. And it seems like kind of an obvious thing to include, but it was something that we didn't think that we should exclude from the, uh, from the list. So what you should know about the Speedway though is that if you're interested, you can take a tour of the Speedway. Now we've never done so, but we've heard tremendous reviews from many of our friends who have done so, and they talk about how much they enjoy it and how interesting of a tour that happens to be. Also, you should check the Richard Petty website and try to find out about the Richard Petty driving experience. You can ride along in a race car and the reviews are that it's an exhilarating experience. So if you are an adrenaline junkie, you should definitely look up the Richard Petty driving experience at the Daytona International Speedway. Right across from the Speedway is a big shopping complex called Daytona One. And this has a lot of great restaurants, um, a lot of ice cream shops, candy shops. They have all kinds of stores you can go to. It's actually a pretty great place. And at nighttime, if you happen to walk in when it's dark, uh, they have a fountain show that has lights that's choreographed with music. Now, as you cross from Daytona into Daytona Beach, you're gonna pass right by something called Beach Street. Beach Street is such a neat area. It's down on the waterfront and it has a very Main Street type of vibe. There are a number of stores and just beautiful views of the water as you walk along the street. <laughs> Number three on our list is one of my favorite things, and that is the Tanger Outlets. Anytime a city has outlets, I love to check them out because I love to shop. He really doesn't necessarily like to, but I love it. And so I love the Daytona Outlets because there are lots of really great stores, not only outlet stores, but they also have Ross, Marshalls, TJ Maxx, Best Buy, those kinds of stores too. And it's all located in the same area. Now my favorite thing about the Daytona Beach outlets though is that they are really pretty new. So they look yeah. really modern and they're in really good shape. So I really like that. I think it's really cool to look around. It has a very contemporary trendy vibe. But on top of that, there are some fantastic places to sit while she goes and does all <laughs> of her shopping. Yeah, the seating there's actually really nice. There's a lot of good options.
I think these might be the nicest outlets in all of Florida. What do you think? I think they're wonderful. I'd actually like to come in a, and shop them, but that's only fun when you have money to shop with. Yeah, I was gonna say, I wish I had so, money for you. <laughs> right now it's fun to look at them. <laughs> And coming in at number two on our list is the beach. Obviously you cannot have a list for Daytona without mentioning the beach. And that is because of the sand. The sand on Daytona Beach is tightly packed, so much so that you can drive your car on the beach. And we thought that was awesome. We've always wanted to go to a beach so we can drive on it and just see how it is. It did not disappoint. We thought it was fantastic. And it's also, you can drive the stroller on it. We thought that was pretty great too for our little girl, um, but it was a great experience. And our number one favorite thing to do at Daytona Beach, Florida is? The boardwalk and funnel cake. <laughs> yes. <laughs> when we go to the Daytona Beach boardwalk, we always park at the parking garage that's right across the street from the Wyndham Resort. You can take the sky bridge over to the part that's called the Ocean Walk. And from the Ocean Walk, you can walk past the Daytona Beach band shell all the way down the boardwalk. There's some wonderful oceanfront views to take in, a wonderful sea breeze. And our favorite part <laughs> is that when you get down to the end of the boardwalk and the beginning of the pier, you can stop and enjoy some greasy food. Our favorite. <laughs> <laughs> we always stop and get the funnel cakes, but they also have french fries yeah, and pizza fries. and cheeseburgers oh, yeah. all and of it all kinds of different fantastic. things. Fantastic. Once you have explored the arcades and the funnel cake and all the different things that there are to do, there are actually some rides over in the distance and we recommend that you take a little time to walk around on the streets. As you walk down the streets, there are lots of different beach and surf shops that you can check out with lots of different paraphernalia that you can buy and souvenirs that you can take on to all your friends and family. Thank you for joining us on this episode of Aiken Adventures and we hope you have a great time in Daytona Beach, Florida. Hi, this is Anthony and Elena. If you've enjoyed this video, then we invite you to like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification icon as you follow us for all of our adventures around Florida.